So everybody who is involved in an IVF cycle, whether the couple or the doctor, wants to achieve a pregnancy. Yes, everybody gets happy at the end of it. I am Dr. Sneha, fertility specialist and gynecologist and in this video, I will be talking about a few tips to improve the success rate with IVF. First of all, choose your doctor wisely. Like you choose things on Amazon or any other site, you don't just pick up what comes first. So you go to it, find out the details and then pick the product you want to go for. Similarly with IVF, do not rush into it. Think about it, see where the specialization, that experience and then decide where you want to get the IVF done. So second is what is your protocol? Always talk to your doctor whether the clinic uses the same protocol for everybody. I usually prefer to decide the protocol depending on the age, AMH, AFC, the prior uh, treatment which the woman has undergone and the prior medical condition. So there are different protocols which are available. One of it is the antagonist protocol where the injection starts on the second day of the cycle or it may be an agonist protocol where uh, the agonist is given in different ways. A certain medication is given in different ways which may start in your previous cycle or it may start in the beginning of your cycle and it may be monitored accordingly and altered or it may be a mild stimulation where the dosage is low which may be better in some women or sometimes we may prefer to use tablets along with the injections to improve your egg yield. Next, you have to decide on what is your future priority, how many children you need. If you are already old and your AMH is low, then you may have to freeze eggs over multiple cycles or freeze embryos over multiple cycles before going for the embryo transfer. Next is what kind of transfer is your doctor planning? Are they planning the fresh embryo transfer or the frozen embryo transfer? What is the protocol that they are using for the embryo transfer? Whether they are using it in a natural cycle or whether we can also use it by giving exogenous estrogen. So it is always wise to talk to your doctor, know about it before going ahead with the treatment. Sometimes before going for the transfer, you may have to undergo certain additional tests which may include hysteroscopy to see the inside of the uterine cavity, whether there are any polyps or whether there is some congenital malformation in the uterus or whether there are adhesions inside the uterus or you may have to undergo an endometrial receptivity array which is personalized embryo transfer if you have had multiple failed transfers before. Sometimes we may have to test for any clotting abnormality in your body which will also affect your pregnancy rates and the miscarriage rates. Also check for your thyroid status and your diabetic status before actually planning your transfer. Finally, it is lifestyle, lifestyle, lifestyle. It is very important. Yes, you need to exercise regularly, eat healthy, think and be conscious of the products which you use on your body or put into your body and take your supplements on time. Talk to your doctor what supplements you need to take and all this will help you to optimize your pregnancy rates. Whatever said and done, IVF success is not a hundred percent. Yes, although I am an IVF specialist and do it every day, this is the part which I do not like about my job that I can not guarantee a hundred percent success rate but definitely we can do our best and help you achieve the best pregnancy rates by following the right protocol. 